Hello and welcome back. This time we want to talk about the connection of sensors to our amplifier. Okay. We said we always draw it, draw it like this. Yeah, there is the amplifier. Yeah. There was our sensor. Oh, it must be falling off somewhere. This is our sensor, yeah? and we always make this drawing, said okay there is a signal from the sensor to the amplifier and there might be or is often a power supply from the, from the amplifier to the sensor. Yeah? How is this really working? How are they connected? There are really amplifiers out yeah? and there are really sensors out. And we just use two wires. So there are the connectors. And we just use one line which is plus and one line which is minus. And that's already the power supply. Yeah? Here the amplifier provides some supply voltage yeah, to the sensor. The sensor is working with the supply voltage. What's then the signal here? The sensor is giving here back the measured voltage, uh, measured current in this in this thing. It's only current. Yeah. This means here I for sure would have a current input in my in my amplifier. And that's it. Two wire, two wire connection. This is the so called two wire. Two wire connection. Just plus and minus with the power supply, and the signal is the current, the strength of the current. Okay. Then, next possibility. What is that? Next possibility, sensor, amplifier, this time I have three, Ooh. again I have a plus cable, plus, and I have a minus cable. In between there's the supply voltage for the sensor. And then here I do have signal. The sensor is having a third option, a third cable where it can back, gives back the signal. This now can be voltage. So the signal and the power supply does have the same reference, yeah, ground. So this can be a voltage signal or it can be a current signal as well. This thing here is logically called three wire. Three wire connection. There's still a common ground. And then the full the full part, let's say, sensor and amplifier. This time we do have one, two, three, four four cables in between. Of course we do have a power supply, plus and minus. Okay. Plus and minus. And then we do have a signal. Yeah. We have a signal plus and we do have a reference for our signal. So now the ground for the signal and the, the power supply are different. Okay. And here again it might be a current signal or it might be it might be a voltage signal. And this thing here 
who, who could guess it, is called four-wire, four-wire connections. So these are the possible ways of how to connect sensors. So that if you're standing in front of a PLC or something like this, yeah, and you see it, this, yeah, that you're not confused, you see all those connections here, and you're not getting confused, then it means it's a four-wire sensor. Yeah. Often, often you can configure the output of a PLC yeah, to just bridge these two here, for instance, to connect a three-wire sensor to a four-wire input. Would also be possible. Would look then like this. Then you bridge it. Put this away. Zack. Three wire sensor and a four wire input. That's it for the connection of the of the sensors. Yeah. We have the left side of the of our measurement change covered. Next time we are shortly talking about the right side. So display and registration devices and then we are pretty much done with the basics of, of measurements. Yeah? Then we'll really go into detail how to measure things. Yeah? But next video will be these display and registration devices. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.